The war in Ukraine has made one thing crystal clear. Air defense systems are absolutely crucial to holding ground and protecting key assets. Ukraine has received a wide range of air defense systems from its Western allies, but among them, one system stands out, the US-made Patriot Missile Defense System. It's often described as the most advanced air defense system Ukraine has, capable of intercepting everything from drones to ballistic missiles. But here's the problem. The battlefield isn't as forgiving as the brochures make it seem. Despite its cutting-edge reputation, the Patriot system has been struggling in Ukraine. In fact, recent reports and battlefield footage show that Russian forces have been surprisingly successful in tracking down and destroying these systems. So, what's going on? Why is the Patriot system proving to be so vulnerable, and what does it mean for Ukraine's defenses moving forward? Let's break it down. The Patriot system has been hit hard multiple times in Ukraine, and it's becoming a growing concern. On December 15th, Russia's Ministry of Defense claimed that its forces destroyed four Patriot missile launchers, along with their ANM-PQ-65 radar system, both critical components of Ukraine's air defense. This was a big loss, as these systems were stationed in a key operational zone. But that wasn't the first time. Back on October 10th, Russian forces targeted a Patriot battery near Pashena Balka, hitting it with an Iskander ballistic missile. Reports say the strike took out a radar, an engagement control station, and a launcher, leaving another launcher heavily damaged. Going even further back, on August 17th, Russia detected a Patriot battery near Lyubomovka and sent in an Iskander M missile which reportedly destroyed two launchers and a radar station. And if that's not enough, on July 7th, another strike near Yuznoya in the Odessa region wiped out two more Patriot launchers and a Swedish-made giraffe radar station. Seeing this pattern, it's clear that Russian forces have figured out how to consistently locate and eliminate these systems. But what makes these systems so vulnerable? Despite being one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, the Patriot has several vulnerabilities that Russian forces have been quick to exploit. One of its biggest weaknesses is how easy it is to spot. The system's powerful radar, designed to track and engage incoming threats, emits a strong electromagnetic signal that acts like a beacon for Russian electronic warfare systems and anti-radiation missiles, such as the KH-31P and KH-58. Once that signal is detected, it doesn't take long for Russian forces to lock on and launch a targeted strike, turning the Patriot from a defensive asset into a vulnerable target. Mobility is another major issue. Unlike some of Ukraine's more agile air defense systems, the Patriot is relatively static once deployed. Its complex setup, requiring multiple components like radars, launchers, and command centers, makes it difficult to relocate quickly. Once its position is exposed, it becomes a sitting duck, giving Russian forces ample time to plan and execute strikes before the system can be moved to safety. Then, there's the issue of cost. Running the Patriot system isn't cheap, far from it. A single Pac-3 interceptor missile used by the system can cost up to $4 million. In contrast, Russia's Shahed-136 Kamikaze drones, often used to overwhelm Ukrainian air defenses, cost just a fraction of that, ranging between $20,000 and $50,000 per unit. This creates a significant imbalance, allowing Russia to sustain continuous attacks while Ukraine burns through its expensive missiles making it an unsustainable battle of attrition in the long run. E-1 
Even with all these vulnerabilities, the Patriot system remains one of the most critical tools in Ukraine's arsenal. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been vocal about Ukraine's desperate need for more Patriots to protect its cities and infrastructure from relentless Russian missile and drone attacks. Recently, after a particularly intense wave of over 1,000 Russian airstrikes in a single week, Zelensky stated that they need the strong support of their partners, which means more patriots for Ukraine for greater protection. According to Ukrainian military estimates, they need around 25 patriot batteries to fully secure their airspace. But securing even a fraction of that number has been a challenge. One idea being floated is local production. Zelensky previously revealed that Ukraine has asked the United States for a license to manufacture Patriot systems domestically. The goal is to speed up the supply and reduce reliance on foreign deliveries, which can often take months to arrive. However, producing something as complex as the Patriot system is easier said than done. It requires sophisticated infrastructure, highly trained personnel, and access to key components that may still have to be imported from the US. The Patriot system is without a doubt a powerful and sophisticated piece of military technology, but its deployment in Ukraine has exposed significant vulnerabilities. Russia's ability to track, target, and destroy these systems with surprising ease has forced Ukraine to rethink its air defense strategy. So, can Ukraine find a way to better protect its Patriot systems? Or will Russian precision strikes continue to undermine its air defense capabilities? One thing is clear. The fight for control of the skies is far from over. What do you think? Will the Patriot system hold up against Russia's relentless attacks? Or does Ukraine need a new approach? Let us know in the comments below.